What's up guys, Matt here with TomorrowsFilmmakers.com and I want to talk a little bit about a new piece of equipment that I've really enjoyed getting to use over the last few weeks and that is this new 16x18 Dual Up Monitor by LG. Now, LG was very generous in sending us a few of these monitors to try out for ourselves and see if they would actually fit into our workflow. And of course, they haven't told us to say anything and we're not like getting an affiliate commission if you buy one of these. And to be honest with you guys, I was a little skeptical at first how could a monitor that is shaped like an Instagram post actually help with my everyday needs? Now, of course, you use monitors for many different reasons, such as daily use, like surfing the web, video editing, gaming, or music production. So I wanna cover all of that and help you decide if this is a good monitor for your workflow. I wanna share with you guys what this monitor is great for, not so great for, and how I would use it in my daily workflow. And if you'd like to learn more about filmmaking in general, you can check out our full award-winning online film course with over 1,200 video lessons and over 100 hours of content taught by leading professionals in the industry. Click the link in the description and learn with over 20,000 other filmmakers just like you learning all the skills they need for only 97 bucks. So, in case you haven't already noticed, this monitor almost looks like a square at first, and that's because, well, it almost is. <laughs> it's a 16 by 18 inch display panel designed to work vertically depending on your workflow and what you may need it for. You technically can use it horizontally, but it's more designed to be used vertically. It is currently at a price point of right under $700. Let's talk about something that really surprised me, the stand itself. We're not even talking about the monitor yet. <laughs> right out of the box, it comes with the stand that clips onto the side of your desk, so not actually a stand that just sits on your desk, but clips to it. So if you have an executive desk, you might run into some issues. It easily clamps right on, and then all you gotta do is slide the panel into place, and boom, you got your monitor ready to go. The stand actually allows for a ton of customization and gives you the freedom to spin it around and tilt it however you may need to. It seriously works great when it comes to just simply moving it around. If you're using it for a secondary monitor, there's no limit to the ways you can place this thing on your desk. The actual screen on this panel is a 27.6 inch display with a resolution of 2560 by 2880, so it's not a 4K monitor, but I don't necessarily fault them for that because it's not trying to be the greatest monitor in the world. It's more designed to be the most convenient monitor you've ever used. So I don't really care if it's only 2K resolution. With a refresh rate of 60 Hertz, this monitor is obviously not designed for gaming. Duh, so it's not that big of a deal. And if you're looking for a gaming monitor, this ain't it. It's vertical, go find something else. Now, another feature this monitor has that is really cool is yes, it has your standard two HDMI ports as well as your USB-C port that you can use as a display port or a power out, but you can actually split the screen across the middle by using what's called the PBP mode. This actually allows you to run two separate devices at the same time. Now, I personally wouldn't use this very often, but instead of having two windows on your computer, you could actually hook up your Xbox to the bottom of the monitor and your computer to the top. So you actually have two completely separate devices being used at the same time. Again, wouldn't use that much, but it's a really cool feature to have. This leads right into the main question that people have with this monitor, what is the best way to use it? Well, is it great for your main monitor? Is it better as a secondary monitor? Which way is best? And the answer is, Yes, <laughs> but it does of course depend on what you're using it for and I'll show you how I've been using it recently. At first glance, it honestly seems like that's stupid and the more I've used it, the more I've fallen in love with it. I've used it for almost every project I work on with editing, Photoshop, sound design. It's amazing to have this 16 by 18 layout. So let me show you guys some of the ways I've been using it and what my recommendation would be if you were to buy this monitor. First up, of course, and one of the most practical ways I use this monitor is just as a basic secondary monitor for my workflow. I think if you're a professional at whatever your craft is and you work from home, you definitely need two monitors for an efficient workflow, and I'm just now realizing the importance of it. And I love this monitor specifically because of the way it fits on my desk and allows me to use it both horizontally and vertically. It's an absolute game changer. Now, what I do the most at my desk is of course video editing. And so I've been messing around to see if this monitor would help with video editing. And of course, using a second monitor for editing is really nice, but having this layout was something I didn't expect to like so much. I used to have my entire project open in Premiere Pro on one display. And honestly, I've always had it that way, yet always felt like I never never had enough room to work. 
or more importantly, there were certain panels I would need to work in that were just way too tiny. Now, when I use Premiere and I'm editing a video, you can put your timeline on your main display and then have your source monitor open in the LG monitor. That's definitely a possibility and what many people do with a secondary monitor, but personally, I love putting panels on the monitor that I tend to work out of a lot. For example, I actually just finished up a video on our channel about the one wheel and there was a ton of B-roll we had filmed and so when I was editing that project, I found it super helpful to have my timeline and source monitor over on my main display and then the bin with all of my footage sitting on this LG monitor because I could pretty much see all the thumbnails of every clip and just simply drag it over onto my timeline. Before I tried this setup, I was literally trying to find B-roll in like the little corner of my screen, but that entire panel moving it over, it made a huge difference. So if you're editing a bunch of audio, you could put those panels over on there. Maybe you're doing a bunch of color correcting and need to expand that window a lot more. This is where the dual up monitor really shines. It allows much more convenience when editing to make the workflow easier. Another way I found this monitor to be really useful is with music production. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not some big music producer, I'm not claiming to be or anything like that, but however, sometimes my friends and I do like to record some demos of songs for our band, and sometimes that includes us having sessions open in GarageBand or Logic, where there might be 10 to 20 tracks in our session, and with this monitor having the functionality of becoming a vertical display, it allows us to easily be able to see many tracks at once in our session. You can even open up plugins or other softwares on your main display and use the LG entirely for your GarageBand session. It's super helpful having a display that can easily switch between a horizontal format for video editing and photo editing and then a vertical display for notes and music production. The next thing we use all the time is Photoshop. There really isn't much more to say about this except for that if you're editing like a vertical photo or a large graphic, I love being able to see the entire image on the monitor. Being able to see so much more of the image is incredible and a lot of people will also ask just about web browsing in general and it works exactly like you think it would. You can see more of every website you visit, everything is just much larger and easier to navigate. And to be honest, after I used it for a while, when I went back to a normal 16 by 9 monitor, all the websites felt so much smaller. So with web browsing, I love to have multiple windows open for easier navigation, or if I'm writing a script for the next video, I can have it open on the LG monitor while researching in the other, or even have it at the top of the monitor with multiple other tabs all around it. And that leads me to my final thoughts about this monitor, what it is best used for, and should you get one? In conclusion, we love this monitor for what it is. This monitor is not designed to be and is not trying to be the greatest monitor in the world. If I'm color grading footage and I need perfect colors, I wouldn't use this monitor. But if I was trying to get the highest resolution possible, I also wouldn't use this monitor. This monitor is not trying to be the only display you'll ever need, but what it is trying to be, it succeeds at with flying colors. It's designed to be the perfect sidekick for your everyday workflow. It's designed to make every task you do easier. From opening up separate workspaces in Premiere, to literally splitting the screen down the middle and running two completely different computer inputs simultaneously, this monitor is an absolute game changer for creatives. When it comes to creating content for YouTube or our online course, this panel has been an amazing sidekick to make my job so much more efficient. If you're wanting to make your workflow easier, I'm really surprised to say that this monitor actually really worked. Now, of course, there are people that use this as their main and only display, and that works great. But for us and what we need, this monitor is the perfect sidekick to our workflow. I personally don't see myself ever using this as my only monitor, but a perfect companion to my main workstation. Of course, if you're looking into purchasing monitors online and you've landed on this video, it's probably because you're a creative and you're starting to dive into the creative world of videography, photography, or maybe just starting to learn a new craft. We know firsthand how expensive new gear can be, and so that's why over at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com, we've created a space for you to be able to learn all the skills needed to grow your business without ever breaking the bank. With over 20,000 students in over 50 countries, a lifetime membership to our award-winning $800 online film course is just 97 bucks. You can learn from so many experts in their own field and take what some of us have learned over the course of years and years and take that and put it into action very quickly for your own career. Learn the best from the best. Why spend all your money on expensive online courses when you can take that money and invest it into your business and spend it on all the gear you need? If you'd like to learn more about our courses, you can head on over to tomorrowsfilmmakers.com and learn all the skills that you need to succeed.